Hey everyone, Brian from WorkshopAddict.com and we're going to take a look at laser distance measures and specifically is a single button laser distance measure going to be perfect for what you're doing? Now we have a lot of realtors, painters and guys in construction who come up to us and say, hey, what laser distance measure should I buy? Because you know, I don't trust them. I don't know. If I've never used one. Is it okay in the cold? And first off, for 99% of everyone, these things are going to be great. They're going to be incredibly accurate. And if you work alone, there's something that you need to have with you. I'm going to show you in a little bit how we use them in an automotive type or ATV type setting on this machine behind us that's had a few issues. And you'll kind of see, wow, this is actually something that works quite well. But if you're in construction or you're in real estate, anything like that, and you want something that's going to go around and be easy, the first question that I have to ask you is, do you want options? Do you want to be able to tether or toggle between a few different items? Or do you want to just push one button or two buttons and have things pop up for you? So this is a Bosch GLM-165, and if you're looking for something that's going to give you square footage of an area, maybe square footage of a wall, square footage of a room, this guy will do it with a single button to turn it on. Once it turns on, it'll stay in its auto mode where it has a red laser here at the end, and that will give you a distance real time uh, from what you're seeing. And then if you push a button, it'll hold it go to another area, push a button, it will take those two measurements, display them on the screen, and then give you the total square foot of that area, assuming that it is a box or a square or a rectangle. Uh, it's not giving you the cubic foot, it's just the square foot of something flat, single plane. Simple to use, but is it too simple? Because if you want to turn it back on after a while, you push one button again. If you want to turn it off, you push and hold. Simple as that. This is great for someone who is not technical, who doesn't really get into using a smartphone, who doesn't want to use anything that's complicated at all. But in some cases, I think in my case uh, specifically, sometimes this can be too simple. I might be wanting to measure in centimeters. I might want to be measuring in um, inches with decimal places rather than fractions. I might want to make my measurements a little bit different. I can't do all that on here as easy as I can something with multiple buttons, with a menu button, or there's a lot of little things that you can do as far as figuring height with these, height of a window. The, the options are endless, but you can also get too complicated. So this is great for someone who might be in real estate, who might wa not want a technical thing, just one button, bop around. But here's how we use this in the shop. And if you do any automotive work or if you fix things, work on ATVs or side-by-sides, this might be something that you want to look at. So let's hop behind us and do a few measurements. Okay, so the machine behind us has had some issues, been rolled over a couple times. You can see it's got a semi-flat regular tire and a spare tire on one side. We're just going to go through and see if everything is kind of square. Now, these units come with this little target that's uh, sticky, so if you needed to use it, it is paper and it's not going to be as accurate as what we would like to use, but if you're in a corner or any area like that where you can't get between different places if there's something in the way, this is perfect. Now, the one downside to the, this unit is that it's only good for six inches, but you can see the first four inches is probably, or three and a half, is taken up by the unit. So we're just not going to do any measurement below six inches. What we do with this is come in and find a place that we can mark and use that's normal, uh, that, that's reproducible on each side. So if we look over here between this trailing arm and the frame, we have 10 inches and 7 eighths. Now in that time, this unit turned off. Uh, so not off, but it just stopped measuring to save battery. We can push this button again and it will turn back, back on, come across in the same exact place. We have 11 and 3 eighths. And if we move that up and down, well, 11 and 3 eighths is going to be where it's at. So we're off significantly on this rear end. And now we need to find out where that is going to be at and correct it. 
And we also need to take into consideration, was this actually square before? Uh, we know that this should be just as square as anything else on these from the looks of other machines, similar. So we're gonna go to the front and do the same thing. Now on the front, you might already be able to see that this is off, but what we're gonna do is take a look at each side. And this side is one foot, three inches and one sixteenth. Pop over to the other side. This side is one foot, two inches, and seven eighths. So this side is closer. Obviously the top of this tire is cambered in. Either way, what we do is figure this stuff out so that we can change diameters, bend items, or know what to replace to make sure that everything is square. And this little guy works because we don't have to get a tape into these odd areas and work around round bars. We can move it around to find the smallest uh, area and it's incredibly accurate. Something that is worth noting is that there are multiple different options of color screens, LCD screens, but no matter what you get with a laser distance measure, do not look directly into this laser. And on this particular Bosch model, you'll notice if you look at it from this angle, it's great, you turn it straight, it's good. You start to turn this unit back at yourself where the laser might be starting to point towards you and the screen will start to get hazy and it'll be hard to see. Some people think that that's not a good thing, but what Bosch is trying to do here is say, hey dummy, don't look at it at that angle because that laser can hurt you. You don't want to aim it at anyone else, you don't want to have it at any animals, and you don't want to stare at it. I guess uh, just a fair warning, that's not a design flaw. That is something that's meant to kind of help you say, this isn't how this unit is supposed to be used. So if you're looking for something simple, I hope this kind of walks you through the simplicity of a one button unit. In some cases, it's really great to have the one button. In other cases, it's not. Now, what we'll do in the future is walk you through a more complicated unit, maybe just one step up from here, and then we can direct you to some of our videos where we've taken 20 and 30 minutes to walk you through all the different uh, things that these units can do. It's absolutely crazy. So make sure you subscribe to our channel, give us a like on this video, and we'll come out and give you a little bit more information on what to expect out of these units. We always thank you for your time. We appreciate it. Have a great day.